break news welcome to today's headlines man reviews how father umbaka mistreated late gospel singer chinedu uwadike while he sought funds for his kidney transplant Man reviews how Father Umbaka mistreated late gospel singer Chinedu Nwadike while he sought funds for his kidney transplant. To my dear listeners from wherever you're listening from, please stay tuned as I read today's news. Amidst the tongue lashing, from Nigerians over his infamous statement about the presidential candidate of the Labour Party, Peter Obi. Reverend Father Umbaka Lejike Umbaka has been accused of mistreating late gospel singer Chinedu Nwadike. Father Umbaka Wu has been in the news for negative over a few days now, is accused of offering more offering mere prayers to Chinedu Wadike when the when the latter visited him to demand funds of his latest kidney transplant in India. A Facebook user Anthony Ofura accused Father Umbaka of being selfish and unwilling to help the late gospel singer. This cash and carry prophet is more stingy than Mr. Peter Obi. He should have given the late singer Chinedu Wadike money to go for kidney transplant in India. But he only prayed and left him to die. Umbaka is fake. Umbaka is the most famous Yahoo prophet of our generation. Stop patronizing his adoration business center. I was a victim of his scam, he wrote. Amidst the tongue lashing from Nigerians over his infamous statement about the presidential candidate of the Labour Party, Peter Obi, Reverend Father Umbaka Echike, Umbaka has been accused of mistreating late gospel singer Chinedu Uwadike. Father Umbaka, who has been in the news for negative over a few days now, is accused of offering mere prayers to Chinedu Nwadike when the latter visited him to demand funds for his latest kidney transplant in India. A Facebook user Anthony Ofu accused Father Umbaka of being selfish and unwilling to help the late gospel singer. This cash and carry prophet is more stingy than Peter Obi. He should have given the late singer Chinedu Wadike money to go for kidney transplant in India. But he only prayed and left him to die. Umbaka is fake. Umbaka is the most famous Yahoo prophet of our generation. Stop patronizing his adoration ministry center. I was a victim of his scam, he wrote. Amidst the tongue lashing from Nigerians over his infamous statement about the presidential candidate of the Labour Party,
Peter Obi, Reverend Father Umbaka, Umbaka A.G.K. Umbaka has been accused of mistreating late gospel singer Chinedu Nwadike. Father Umbaka, who has been in the news for negative over a few days now, is accused of offering mere prayers to Chinedu Nwadike when the latter visited him to demand funds of his slated kidney transplant in India. A Facebook user, Anthony Ofura, accused Father Umbaka of being selfish and unwilling to help the late gospel singer. This cash and carry prophet is more stingy than Mr. Peter Obi. He should have given the late singer Chinedul Uwadike money to go for kidney transplant in India. But he only prayed and left him to die. Umbakar is fake. Umbakar is the most famous Yahoo prophet of our generation. Stop patronizing his adoration business center. I was a victim of his camp. He wrote. So my dear listeners, now we've come to the end of our today's news and now before I go, what I would just say is you can't be too good to be loved by everybody and you can't be too bad to be hated by everybody. Let's move down to the comment section and let's know what people are saying. The first comment here says, mind the way you talk to servant of God Almighty and the comment here says, Queen Dollar, as you called yourself, are you a good Christian? So before you help someone that person has to some assault, please change that belly. Another comment here says, Father HGK Umbakar has done more charity work than Mr. Peter Obi. The writer is a lazy Nigeria who depend on other people's fortune. Lazy Niger. And a last comment which I have here for today's news says, Better go and engage your God in prayer. Learn to understand the things of the Spirit before you start vomiting rubbish. Know the mind of God because it is not just about winning this election. Engage your God in prayer so that you will not cry out, I know at last. To so my dear listeners, now we've come to the end of our today's news. Please do drop by our